Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving me two hours. <laughs> Amen. I am very excited. I always tell you when I meet young people like you, I'm excited because that's where I come from. All right. I was baptized into this church 55 years ago. So I'm like you, isn't it? So we've grown through. So 55 years ago, think about how the church was. Sometimes when I see you talk and talk and talk, I look, I look at you and... <laughs> Amen. Amen. So in a big church like uh, about a thousand people, we're only four people in secondary school. And uh, out of that, only me and my wife I went to the university, so when we finished, I married her. <laughs> yeah. I did. We were in the same assembly. Yes, and uh, who else do you want me to go and marry? <laughs> Praise the Lord. One day, I'll come and talk to the young men. Look at them. Look. So, so I'm really excited. And um, for those of you who are talking about this and all those things, just, just remain and do what God has called you to do. There is a tax for all of us, great tax for us. And about 40 years ago when we started PENSA, the challenges we are talking about is nowhere near those things. But now look at what the Lord has done. So I want you all to rise up in the power of the Holy Ghost. Leadership is sacrificing. Nothing happens without leadership. You are leaders. See yourself in that light and allow yourself with the Holy Ghost to feel your life. Allow the Spirit of God to come upon you. Brothers, brothers and sisters in the Lord, we have great, I've told the, the other, look, in this church, if you live as a young person in this church, with biblical principles, there is nothing that can overcome you. God, look, we need repositioning the church, the local church for maximum impact. It's not a small joke. God is going to read millionaires, billionaires, and other people in the church, and real brain people, and, and all this. And you see, when we talk about this, people think that it is just old. It's, I mean, uh, we have seen it with our own eyes, and it will become a reality in your life. Anointed people, right? Full of the Holy Ghost. With the gift of the Holy Spirit manifesting in your life. You see, look at what technology is doing. How can we match it? You can't match technology in any way. But so it takes only the power of God to fill your life for people to know that yesterday, today, and forever, Jesus is alive. He's not dead. That is our responsibility. So take the leadership responsibility with all your heart. Work hard. All right? This is, we are working, and I'm going to work. I'm tired. And my friend, this is not, that is not for leaders. I'm sorry I'm getting you no five, but let me. When we're coming, look. <laughs> oh, I'm telling a story. Let me, let, I'm telling a story. Let me. All the time you are clapping, I will, I will add it to my. <laughs> so, so <tell> me. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Every you see, when we come, I came for. It was a high-powered. I was. I'm a member of a board, and uh, the board was coming to UK for some meetings, and I looked at the time. We we're supposed to fly, and um, I realized that. When I come with them, on Sunday, which is a communion service, I'll be airborne. So I told them, change my time. Why? Because my life is not their life. They don't dictate my life. I want to come and have fellowship and have my communion service. If I can't have it in Ghana, I can have it over here. So my time was changed. And I came and I fellowshiped with them. Um, where from we say? I 
I fellowship with the pastor who do my uh, his wife. Archway, Archway PRWC. Fantastic young men and women over there. All right? And, 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 and I had my communion service over there. Live your life as a believer. As you move into the communities and doing community work and all those things, you must let Christ be number one. Can I pray for you? Um, can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? Wherever you go, when people are having challenges, don't shut up. Amen? Amen. Uh, look, I'm telling you, we are taking over this nation. Amen. We are taking over this nation. When I was a student here, there was only one assembly in London. When the students come, when the children come, they just walk around. And some of them say, our, ch- our parents are speaking some funny, funny language we don't understand. <laughs> now look at you. What is God telling us? We are taking over this country. And don't sit down and do like this and say, you taking this country is impossible. Who told you it's impossible? The fire of the Holy Ghost is our DNA. It comes from above. And the day of Pentecost, they were all gathered together in one accord, in one place. And immediately and suddenly, there came from a mighty wind blowing from above. And fire from above divided upon them. As, and the Holy Ghost came upon them. And they spoke in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Ours is above. It will come from above. It's not from you. All you need to do is to do what the leaders are telling you together and move forward. The fire of the Holy Ghost will come upon you. And before you realize, that young lady, that young man, is filling the stadiums in the United Kingdom for people not coming to watch football, but coming to listen to the word of God. And people will be healed. Miracles, signs, and wonders from you seated over here. See yourself in that light and tell yourself, we are taking over this country to the glory of God's name. So I like the action part. Be transformed to transform. But I like the ready for action. Action. If you don't act action part of it, you've not done anything. Because we are Pentecostals. We believe in miracles. And miracles must follow us. It must. Capital letters underlined. <laughs> miracles must do what? If you sit down in your room and it, you come to Pensa and we come here, I mean, yeah, for the dancing and the, all these things, it, it's easy, you can dance. And, but as you take the step, as you take the action, it is only when you take the action that miracles do what? Follow. And that will what will silence technology. That will what will silence them. So young people, arise. It is your time. It's your time. Joshua generation. You read the Bible and realize that Jen, Joshua obeyed every command that Moses gave him. And because of that, no wall of Jericho was able to stand before him. We are victorious in Christ. And we will do what God wants us to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.